This video is strictly for educational and awareness purposes only. It does not promote, demonstrate, or support any form of hacking, illegal activity, or unauthorized access. No commands, downloads, or misuse are shared here. All tools mentioned are publicly available and follow YouTube's community guidelines. Hey, just a heads up, I'm only sharing this out of curiosity and research. This is about understanding digital safety, not doing anything sketchy. Be smart, stay safe, and don't mess around with things you shouldn't. Okay, so last night I went down another GitHub wormhole. Lemonade wasn't working, so I had to browse cool OSINT tools. This time I landed in a zone full of social media tools. Names I barely heard before, but some of them can trace your profile across dozens of platforms. Don't worry, it's not a hack tutorial, no illegal content, just tools made for research, privacy awareness, and digital curiosity. All public, all open source, all legal to explore. First up is Sherlock, a tool that hunts for a username across 400 plus social platforms. You enter a handle, and Sherlock checks site after site, compiling a list of where that username appears. It covers everything, major networks, obscure forums, gaming sites, and more. The process is simple but powerful, automating what would take hours to do by hand. The output? A clean list of links to every found profile. It's not hacking, just organizing public info at scale. Sherlock is a wake-up call about username hygiene. Use the same handle everywhere, and you're leaving a breadcrumb trail. For privacy or personal branding, seeing Sherlock in action is a reminder to diversify your online identities. The code is open, easy to understand, and maintained by the community. It's a classic example of how automation can reveal the scope of your digital presence. Tools like Sherlock don't break in. They just make the public web searchable in ways you might not expect. It's efficient, eye-opening, and a great starting point for understanding digital footprints. Be deliberate with the info you share. Next is Twint, a tool for deep diving into Twitter, or X, without using the official API. Twint scrapes public tweets, followers, media, and metadata, bypassing API limits and restrictions. It can archive entire public profiles, export data to CSV or JSON, and enable large-scale analysis, like sentiment tracking or mapping tweet locations. Twint works by mimicking human browsing, pulling only what's already public. The scale is the difference. Thousands of tweets organized instantly. Once something's public on Twitter, it's out there. Deleting a tweet doesn't guarantee it's gone. Twint highlights the permanence of public posts and the power of open source research. Even as Twitter changes, the concept remains. Public data is accessible, and tools like Twint make it easy to analyze. It's not about breaking barriers, just using a sharper lens. Social Analyzer takes Sherlock's idea and scales it up, checking usernames across thousands of platforms, including niche and international sites. Its standout feature, a confidence score that estimates how likely a found profile actually belongs to the person you're researching. It analyzes profile pictures, bios, and other clues to filter out false matches. This adds intelligence to the search, helping you focus on real connections, not just matching usernames. It's a step toward digital identity correlation, automating what a human investigator would do. The more consistent your online persona, the easier it is for Social Analyzer to connect the dots. For some, that's great for building a brand. For others, it's a privacy risk. The confidence score quantifies just how easily your online identities can be linked. Social Analyzer is a powerful reminder. Consistency online can be both a strength and a vulnerability. It's not foolproof, but it's a fascinating leap in OSINT automation. The lesson? Vary your details if privacy matters to you. These tools show just how much can be inferred from public data. Meet Tuki OSINT, the next-gen evolution of Sherlock. Tuki scans for usernames across social media, but with improved accuracy and fewer false positives. It refines detection methods, reducing dead ends, and making results more reliable. Tuki also focuses on user experience, offering cleaner, more readable reports, sometimes with color coding or extra context. Its modern code base means better performance and easier setup for researchers. Tuki is about quality over quantity, actionable results, not just a flood of links. It's a great example of open source projects building on each other, always improving. For those who value precision and clarity, Tuki is a compelling choice. 
It's not about replacing Sherlock, but offering a smarter alternative. Magre takes things further, building a full dossier on a username, not just a list of links. It checks thousands of sites, then extracts details like full names, bios, locations, and links to other profiles. Magre connects the dots, creating a rich, interconnected report from scattered public data. Its recursive search can follow new usernames or links found in bios, mapping entire networks of related accounts. The output is a detailed, human-readable dossier, perfect for deep investigative work. Migre shows how public data can be aggregated into a surprisingly complete profile. None of it is private, it's all from public pages. The tool just automates the research, making connections you might miss. Your digital footprint isn't just the accounts you create, but every detail you share. Migre is a powerful assistant for mapping online identities. It's a stark reminder of how much can be learned from what you post publicly. Digital Footprint OSINT tool is the Swiss army knife for power users. It scans for usernames, variations, and even associated emails across platforms. Multi-threading makes it fast, perfect for large-scale or time-sensitive investigations. User agent rotation helps avoid blocks by making requests look like they're from different browsers. Privacy is built in. You can route searches through proxies or Tor for anonymity. It's a holistic approach, finding not just profiles, but all the ways your identity might appear online. This tool is about speed, flexibility, and operational security. It's designed for journalists, researchers, and anyone needing advanced OSINT capabilities. The sophistication of these tools shows how far open source intelligence has come. It's not just about finding data, but how you find it and how you protect yourself in the process. After exploring these tools, one thing is clear. Everything they find is already public. They don't hack. They just connect the dots, showing how much can be learned from what's out there. Data aggregation can turn small, scattered details into a surprisingly complete picture. It's a wake-up call about digital privacy. Your username, bio, and profile pic are all data points. These tools exist to explore, educate, and raise awareness, not to be malicious. Do a quick audit of your public profiles. You might be surprised what's visible. If you found this eye-opening, like and subscribe, and let me know what rabbit hole to explore next. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.